Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in some furnitures. And in this one, we're gonna continue working on this. So let's go back to architecture. And actually, we're gonna add in coffee table here and some side table and some lamp so uh, let's go to insert and load family and then here let's go back and look for furniture and then tables again and then coffee table so let's add this coffee table Go back to architecture and click component and then let's add this coffee table or the other one the one in the middle let's change the orientation press escape and then escape and then go back to insert and let's add in a side table or a nightstand Click open and then go to architecture again and then click component and let's add it on this side. Load family again and then here let's go back to the start and let's add in a lighting. So click on this architecture and then internal and then let's look for. This table lamp, press open, and then here we're gonna able to add it here, but change the orientation to around 650 and click on the middle. Press escape and then escape. So, next thing we're gonna do is let's add in our stairs. So, to do that, go to architecture and click stairs and then here we could change a couple of stuff or we could double check that our base will be on level one and it's going to the top level level two so we're going to leave it at desired number of stairs to be 18. Um, i believe that's enough for the riser height if you want to change that you can click edit type and you can change the height from here the depth and the width so for now we're going to leave it like that and let's add in our stairs so we're going to zoom in a little bit and then create our stairs like so so i'm going to leave it at four here move it a little bit like that to create its so let's press escape and let's go around this so like that now as you can see it's much better but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click finish it's easier to move the stairs if it's finished like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it like that. I'm going to place it in the corner. And here, as you can see, I don't like this because it's so near to the door. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this again, edit stairs. And what you can do is click this side and use this arrow and move it like that. And as you can see, one of one of the stairs here are moved we could do this as well by just using our arrow key and because the landing is too big we could just move it a little bit so that we have a lot of space here it's not that crowded so after that 
um, you could change the width of the stairs but for 1000 millimeters I think that's enough for this space so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click finish and we have our stairs right there um, what we could also do is we could add something below here but like um, indoor garden so those kind of stuff so you can design it yourself um, as you know I barely do the interior so this is enough for me and then now that this is done let's add in some windows um, also I'm gonna add a sliding door here so first I'm gonna go to insert load family and go to doors and then here maybe we have sliding door here so this one will be good double sliding so press open and you could choose yours here but what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna press OK and let's go to doors and then here I'll be able to choose whatever but actually it didn't load a lot so we could go back and just select everything I'm just gonna select everything so hold on click one of this and then hold on shift and then click again like that and then press ok it will load again and now we have a lot of variation here and then we could just click one and let's add it here and then here we're just gonna flip it like that so we could have this sliding like that you can change the height and the width by choosing this one so it's easy to change as you can see so it depends on you and your design you can change it whatever you want also let's press escape and then click wall and then click this drop down and click on curtain wall we're gonna add a curtain wall window here and don't worry about that error it's just saying that it's not showing yet because we need to click modify and then cut geometry and then here we could cut geometry and then as you can see th those walls disappeared because it already cuts with it so here I'm just gonna move it a little bit so that it has some space when I add the mullion and then here I'm gonna add in some extrusion so maybe we could do that later or I believe we have time to do that now so here click architecture let's add in that extrusion that I'm telling you about so here I'm gonna click this drop down and then click model in place and then as you all know always choose generic model for now we can change that afterwards but most of the time we use generic model if you know the ca category that you want you could also put that but for me um, learned from my professor that he uses all generic models so we just copied it so now we could check the, the, the work plane that is set so here it is set on the level 1 so that's perfect because I'm gonna add it from the floor up to the second so here if you want to see it further you can see that this is the plane that we're using so now you can turn on and off that if you're in 3d you will see it like that 
So depending on how you set your extrusion, that's where you can extrude the, the model that you're going to do. So let's go back to level 1 and click on extrusion. And then here, we're going to use rectangle. Um, we could set up the materials afterwards. So for now, I'm going to add an extrusion like this. And then I'm going to select them all by clicking on tab and then selecting it again. So I'm just going to move it a little bit like that. And I'm going to add multiple of this. And I'm just going to simply uh, use a copy. And then click on multiple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this as a base. And then copy like that. So that everything is spaced accordingly. So this is good enough. It's kind of beyond this wall, but that's okay. We could edit that later. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the materials. I'm going to choose wood. So... I'll choose this birch and then after that finish and then we could look it at 3D so that we could extrude it further manually. So here I'm just picking up this one or extruding it from the arrow so like that. You can also use align, so AL, and then align it at the top of this plane, and then here. So you know that it's aligned like that. So now everything is good. Now we have this one like that. And I liked it. This is just something that uh, for the outside, but it will have its effect later on. So click finish and we're good. This one we're gonna just pull it down a little bit like that and then this one let's pull it up like that. So depending on your uh, on what you want but I'm just gonna pull it a little bit and this is all gonna be when um, glass window so that will be good. That will be enough. Also, we could remove this. So only on this side. I don't show the the interior anyway. So we could just leave it like that. So everything is good and then now click on level 1 and we're gonna do something about here later on maybe we could create something like this as well so depending on what we decide later uh, for now we could actually move to level 2 um, so for level 2 what we could do is we could go to level 2 and as you can see there's an underlay um, if you don't have the underlay just click on this to show or to base on if you click none there won't be any of those so it's a good thing that you know how to use underlay so that you could base whatever uh, wall below to the above and the good thing about it it's it's not clickable but you can align it you can align the wall using the align command command it will highlight it and it will align itself 
from there. So next, um, we're going to use the same wall, the exterior wall number one. So here we're going to click this and then we're going to click the walls right here. So we're going to use line. So this will be covered below. So the car fourth. I want it to be. So from C, I want it to be around 500 below the C um, grid line. And then let's pull it up. We're just going to maintain this. So A2 up to here. And then from A2 up to B2. And close it off like that. So for now, let's check this out. We're going to extend this a little bit. But I want to add in another. We're going to add this part as an terrace. So there will be bedroom here. So the master's bedroom with ensuite and walk-in closet. And then there's going to be a bedroom here again. And then a bedroom here and a bedroom here. So press escape and click this wall. And what I want you to do is I want you to align it from this wall. So as I said earlier, AL, click on this, and then click on this. So as you can see, it aligned there. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.